I'm really starting to wonder at this point what is our obsession with the post-apocalyptic world. It seems like it's the focus of a lot of fiction and a lot of TV shows and movies. And I was thinking about this the whole time that I was reading um, this book, Station Eleven, by Emily St. John Mandel, that we have a fascination with the world after civilization. And I'm just wondering maybe why? So if you have any thoughts on that, leave them in the comments below and we can talk about it. So I purchased Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel a long time ago and I waited a long time to read it. Uh, I just, I couldn't get into the first two chapters the first time around and I don't know if it was my mood or what, um, but one day, a couple weeks ago, I picked this up and it was exactly what I needed to read. Station Eleven tells the story of a traveling symphony in the post-apocalyptic world. Pretty much everybody has been wiped out by the Georgia flu and so there's not much left, you know, there's no electricity, people are just kind of like surviving the best they can. The book focuses about 20 years after the Georgia flu hit, so it's kind of actually interesting to see sort of the world after it's settled. You know, with shows and comics like The Walking Dead, we really see this is how it happens, and and here's the chaos, you know, after the big storm. Station Eleven gives you a really interesting look at the uh, kind of settled later phase of the post-apocalyptic world. Something interesting that Station Eleven does, and I think it does pretty well, is that it kind of weaves in the present day story and the story of sort of when the Georgia flu hit and it also kind of goes into details about Kirsten's life and this man, Arthur Leander, that she worked with right before everything went to hell. I have to say there's a lot going on in this book and that's actually something that I liked about it. You know, at the end of every chapter you're not sure what you're gonna get. Is it gonna be a story about Arthur's life? Is it going to be Kirsten's memories or is it the present day story which really talks about the dangers of power in the midst of chaos. Something else that I really appreciate about this book is in a lot of post-apocalyptic stories you have to kill people and a lot of people do this without a second thought but I think I can say without having any experience whatsoever that when you kill a person it kind of goes against your nature so unless you are a sociopath it's going to affect you and you really see that people are not happy about having to kill other people and they only do it if they absolutely have to and when they do it it's hard and it makes them sick and you know that memory never goes away so I think that's really important uh, because you know it keeps the sort of morality in the post-apocalyptic world that you don't often see because people just kind of go off the deep end usually. I guess the bottom line is I would definitely recommend Station Eleven, especially if you like reading about post-apocalyptic worlds. And I feel like it definitely has a lot to say about our modern lives, how we live them, what's important to us, and you know how that would change if we didn't have these things to rely on. I know this book was super hyped up and I think that if you read it kind of without worrying about that, that you might enjoy it. I, I thought it was pretty great. I don't know exactly why everyone freaked out so much. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's too much outside of most post-apocalyptic stories. It looks the same. It's It struck me very much like The Walking Dead, you know, what you see on the show or if you read the comics. I know that everyone and their sister and brother reviewed it, but I did it anyway. So. If you read Station Eleven, let me know in the comments below, and let's go ahead and talk about the post-apocalyptic world and why it's so interesting to us these days, because it seems to be all we talk about. That's about it. I will see you guys later. Bye.